The following program contains images of an actual surgical procedure that may be graphic and disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Deep wrinkles, sagging skin, the dreaded jowls, the signs of aging may be written all over your face. Well, today we're putting a non-surgical procedure to the test. It promises results like this. Dr. Steven Weiner, Nurse Sandy, and his patient Amy are all in our procedure room right now to try out this procedure. So first things first, welcome everyone. Thank you for being here. Can you tell us what bothers you about your jawline right now? You know, over the years, I've just noticed this sag increasing, even with um, some weight loss, it getting worse. Um, it is hereditary, and I just want to be the best 40-year-old self that I possibly could be. I love that. And, and Dr. Weiner, explain what you're going to be doing today. So I've coined the term rejuvenation, and what I'm going to be doing <laughs> is rejuvenating her jawline using filler. And I'm, as you can see here, there's a little loss of volume in the back part of her jaw, and there's a loss of distinction between the face and the neck. And I'm going to make that more distinct as well as put a little filler in her chin to make it more prominent. Dr. Weiner, go ahead if you want to get, get started, started on the treatment. And okay, so first we're gonna use something called the frozen C, which brings the skin temperature down to approximately two degrees Celsius, and it actually has cut off safety guards if it goes lower than that. This will immediately anesthetize the skin and numb the skin, but it also brings more oxygen and more blood flow to the area, so she heals faster and she has less bruising. We also use this in our office to control acne, and, and it also sterilizes the skin as well, and we do cryofacials as well. So it's a mini cryotherapy uh, machine. So next, next I'm gonna do is I'm going to go into the jowl just below it using this new device, and I'm gonna put this cannula, which is very blunt, and it doesn't have a needle on it, and I'm gonna put it back into that area I discussed, back here. And I'm gonna inject what's called a hyaluronic acid filler. Right. This and is rest and a little defined. And she's not, she's not moving at all, so she's no. not feeling anything, right? Just a little pressure? She is not feeling this at all. Not Good. at all. And I could do this in 10 minutes or less. And you can see the jaw line is becoming more distinct here at what we call the gonial angle with just one cc of filler. And then we're gonna do it to the other side off camera and we're gonna show you the results in a second. You, you make such a, a great point that you're using a blunt cannula and not a sharp needle. So less pain, you're not going to uh, cause bleeding by hitting blood vessels, much, much less traumatic. And you can see the results almost immediately. And when will patients see the best results? Immediately or does it take a while? So she's gonna see immediate results, but the best results are approximately in seven days when the filler integrates with the tissues. And off camera, I'm gonna fill in this area and, and also the chin. We'll go ahead and, and finish up, and then what we'll do is later on the show, we'll reveal Amy's results. Amy, you want both sides, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay. Just checking. We'll, we'll, we're we're we'll, going to make that we'll happen. Let, we'll I let promise. him do the other side, too. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much. See you later, Travis. All righty. Thank you all. <laughs> <laughs> it's a valid question. The quote of the day I heard from the audience, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ironically, that device may have stole the show. Yeah. That's that thing cool. was remarkable. But I'm excited to see that result. Yeah, I think it's going to look great. I do too. I do. Earlier in the show, Amy started a live procedure in hopes of a more youthful and defined jawline. Did Dr. Weiner's rejuvenation procedure deliver? <laughs> Let's look at what Amy's appearance was before. And live in real time, this is what she looks like now. <laughs> Amy, do you see it? Did you, what do you think? It's amazing. Less pain than a flu shot. The frozen sea went in and immediately numbed it, and from then on, it was just a matter of minutes, and he was done. I could go back to work right now. I'm gonna go explore LA. I have no, no downtime. You look awesome, Dr. Weiner. How did you do it? Well, I used uh, the frozen sea 
okay. that helps with uh, swelling and bruising. And then I use those blunt cannulas as we discussed. And then I'm, I'm, I'm in a plane that's uh, very easy and uh, very safe and less discomfort, and it's, it's just perfect. Uh, Use filler, in this case, hyaluronic acid filler, correct? Yes. How much volume did you put in on each side? About two and a half cc's per side. Okay, and you know, it's, it, it's unbelievable, it's sort of counterintuitive that you're adding volume to the face, but it, the face now looks <clears throat> more sculpted by putting it in the right place to camouflage that jowl and create a really beautiful jawline. So, how long is this going to last for Amy? It will probably last her nine to 12 months, maybe a little bit longer, but I don't ask them to wait that long. I have them come back six to nine months, put a CC maybe in each side just to maintain it. Um, there are other fillers that you could put in that last longer. Uh, but in this case, it's yeah. sort of try on the clothes first and see how you like it. And how much does it cost? Well, it varies from patient to patient. It could be anywhere from two syringes, which is around 1,500, up to 2,500 or 3,000. Yeah, it depends on how much product you're using. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and other options you can do, non-invasive before you're, you're ready for a facelift. Right. We like to use fillers as other non-invasive right. ways of tightening the face. And I know, Dr. Weiner, you, you use some of those modalities. We have radio frequency. I know thread lifting is getting to be more popular. You can combine uh, these things with a little liposuction as well. So th those are all options. And then I know genetics plays a huge role, but are there any things that we can do on an everyday basis to keep this as tight as possible? Well, we know that, that fluctuation in weight can, can cause things to get worse, that it'll cause your skin to, to be more lax is, is one thing. You want to take care of your neck skin uh, just like you take care of your face. People are so good about moisturizing their face. I think sometimes they forget about taking care of the neck as well, so that's something you can do. S sun exposure. Oh, yeah, thank Protect you, it though. because that, that kills your collagen. Um, and being preemptive, maybe doing some radio frequency uh, as you're younger and doing a little filler when you're younger. Great skincare, facials, chemical peels. Well, it's good to know that there are options. Right. If you're out there and you want a little rejuvenation, you can get that done. <laughs> Amy, happy that you're happy. Dr. Yes. Weiner, thanks so much yes. for sharing. Thank you.